Please handle with care. Perishable. We got some Louisiana crawfish if you can hear me say. Look how big that is. I know you're hungry. Oh! Okay, Prime. Come on. Come on. Oh! Yeah. I'll I'll do those. They're going to the predators. Now, I already put a couple of those sharks inside of the pond. I'm gonna open this up. You're gonna see some sharks in here. See the sharks? That is another shark, the same one that we have right there. Whoop. This guy is gonna be an apex predator one day. Today, we're actually gonna be getting a bunch of new pet crayfish, but there's a catch. Before we can do anything, we have to fill this metal tub up and see which ones are dead and which ones are alive. And uh, yeah, scratch that. I think the crawfish are arriving right now, so let's go see if they're here. Hey, yo, what are you? Please handle with care, perishable. As you can see, we got some Kentucky Fried ch We got some Louisiana crawfish, if you can hear me say hey yo. You, sir, huh? Thank you. Uh, excuse me, what the heck is in here? This right here should be 10 pounds of Louisiana crawfish, guys. These are all of our new pets. We're gonna take these little boogers. Come on. And a lot of these guys should be dead, but... Oh, look, there they go. Now, the ones that float are dead. But, 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 dead ones are always bad. See that thing? Look how big that is. See if anyone's hungry. I know you're hungry. Oh! Come on. Come on. Oh! Woo -hoo! Come on. Whoa! That was epic. That is almost as epic as Manscaped.com sponsoring today's video. It's time to throw away that bulky hedge trimmer. And it's time to upgrade to the new Beard Hedge Pro Kit. I'm excited to be one of the first to take a look at this thing. This thing's powerful. And did I mention that this thing has a new 720 RPM motor that makes multitasking easy? Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's epic. And if you don't take my word for it, just check out our happy customers. Whoa. Oh, yeah. And did I mention it's waterproof? Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I've managed to have such a perfect beard after all these years. Franklin, you don't have a beard. Oh. Well, yeah, I don't have a beard because of Manscaped. So whether you're starting your beard journey now or, honestly, your dad or grandfather needs a little bit of help, my buddies over at Manscaped can definitely hook you up with this beautiful box filled with everything you need to grow a perfect beard. And it even has my favorite beard conditioner. Huh? So if you guys are interested in helping out the channel, make sure you guys go get your Beard Hedger Pro Kit at manscaped.com. Use code RAW for 20% off. Trust me, we appreciate it. And here we go. All right, so all of these Louisiana crawfish right here are uh, muy delicioso if we cooked them, but today they're going to the predators. Eh, I'll, I'll do those. All right, guys, you guys ready? Oh, here we go. I already got fish. Come on, make sure you guys get this on video. It's here coming. He comes, here he comes. <laughs> oh! What the hell was that? What the heck? <laughs> oh! What the hell was that? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you guys. Holy crap. Woo! Holy crap. Guys, I promise you, you will lose a freaking hand here. This is the predator pawn that we've been naturally growing for the longest time. Holy crap! And that's exactly what happens every single morning and afternoon over at the new pond since we actually installed this new fish feeder right here. Dang, hey, 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 how you doing, baby? How you doing, baby boys? Every single fish inside of this pond is actually super happy and healthy since, obviously, we installed this epic little fish feeder right here. Oh my goodness! Are you filming? Come here. Look at this. I think one of the crayfish is pregnant. Come here. One of the crayfish that came in is pregnant. So I'm going to flip her upside down because I don't want to hurt her. But when I flip her, oh my goodness, it's caviar. Look at all the eggs. Oh my goodness, you see that? I'm gonna be a mother! So this right here is our beautiful little 
like lobster looking thing, no? So I think somebody needs to inform Larry that, uh, so I think somebody needs to tell Larry from Spongebob that, uh, yeah, he's gonna be a father. I'm holding down the claws. Can you see her eggs? You see that? That right there is probably 150 to 200 baby eggs of crawfish. And this right here is the mother. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> oh, where's she going? Hello. Okay, you, you need to go down here. Now we have a serious issue. If we leave this female lobster right here inside of this pond right here, there's a huge chance that, uh, oh snap. Dun, dun. Where is he? Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh, I got him. Oh, he's going, he's going. Come here. Come here. I got him. Come on, right there. Uh oh. Big Daddy Crawfish. Oh crap, look at him. This right here is Larry the Lobster. And Larry, oh, Larry's mean. This guy's been lifting weights and he's been putting in work at the gym. Hold on, right there. Oh, there's a huge chance that this guy right here will literally eat this beautiful female. Look at the size difference right here. This thing's claw is as big as that female crayfish. Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh, oh, uh uh-oh. Yeah, we do not want to get bit by this thing. So you go in there and this beautiful little female is going to uh, probably get her own tank. So yeah, we definitely need to do something about this. Wait, where are you going? I just got your tank. Where are you going, girl? I just got you a fresh tank. So we actually just got a beautiful LED aquarium starter kit right here. This right here is actually plenty of water for her to uh, raise up her beautiful little baby crawfish. And honestly guys, I think this is gonna be a really fun series. I know literally nothing about crawfish, so it's time to study up and uh, raise some crawl dads. <laughs> Step one. We actually have to open up this aquarium and get out all of the cool little things inside of this little aquarium kit. Whoa! This right here is a 10 gallon aquarium. Hello! Hey! That wasn't very nice. Inside of this right here is literally all the instructions, the lid, the lights, food, everything we're gonna need to make this little uh, mission <laughs> a success. Oh, geez, I hope it isn't mission impossible. Step two, now that the entire kit is actually unboxed, what we're gonna have to do is pretty simple. There's a bunch of lights and obviously a lid and uh, we just need to put this on there like that. All right guys, the tank's set up, let's fill it up. Now that the tank's actually filled up right here, it's actually ready for fish. I don't live in the city, I have a well here, so as soon as I put the water in, it's fish safe. But before we actually go off and take our female lobster and put her in her new home, I thought this was an amazing opportunity to show off a couple cool, crazy looking fish that uh, we just got. Come over here, let me see if I can scoop them up. Guys, we actually bought baby sharks. Got one. Got one, look how fast his, look how fast his tail goes. This right here is a really cool, unique looking shark. These guys will get really freaking big and I'll go whoop. Watch him, see him in there? Look at him swimming around. Crazy, isn't that thing sick? That right there is a freshwater shark. Those things are insane, Raw fam. Now, we're not actually gonna have these sharks living in this tank full time. I just wanted to show you one of them, but we're actually about to put them inside of their forever home because winter is pretty much over. But I'm gonna see if I can get the other shark in there too. Yeah. Got him. I'm gonna put this guy in here. Oop. Look at that. That is our shark right there. This guy is gonna be an apex predator one day. Wow. I mean, just look, he has whiskers. That is a freshwater shark right there. We're actually going to scoop them up and put them in their new pond. Now, because these guys are so much like sharks, these guys always have to be spinning in a circle 24 hours a day. They could never stop. So we have to be able to put them in a pond where they can't go into like a small little chamber or a crevice. So we only have a couple options. Because this pond is circular, we can actually put them inside the pond with uh <laughs> With prime and uh, speed, but I don't, I don't think that's a very good idea. Come with me. Now we can also put them in with our Japanese koi fish. If you guys come right here, look at them all. Hurry, hurry, hurry before they go. Hi, babies. You guys are gorgeous. Wait, Rolf fam. Do you guys think I should? Uh, I don't know. Maybe feed them a little bit. Let me prepare some food. Oh, look at that. Look at all the koi pellets going in there. And as a reward for you guys watching this entire video, I appreciate you guys. And uh, 
I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. The video of us actually getting all of these beautiful koi fish right here hasn't even gone live yet. You guys will literally be the first people to see all these beautiful koi fish come up and eat. All right, I'm just gonna go like that. We'll leave this right here. I'm gonna show you a couple more options we have for those sharks, but uh, they're not looking too hot. And uh, we'll feed these guys in a second. Come on. And then we obviously have the predator pond filled with predators that, uh, <laughs> no, that's, that, that's not happening. Stop it, that's, that's not happening. Come with me. Now, I already put a couple of those sharks inside of the pond with the koi fish because they all eat the same food. If you guys come right here, this is pretty cool, but I'm gonna open this up. You're gonna see some sharks in here. See the sharks? Come on. Now, for some reason, they love living in here. That is another shark, the same one that we have right there. And they just don't leave inside of here. Now, he, I think that one just ran out, but there's actually two or three of them in here. If I like go, oh my goodness, what the heck is this? Oh, that's just Billy. Sorry guys, this is my frog, Billy. <laughs> Bye, Billy. That right there is actually our, um, our, our sharks, but they never come out, they never eat, so I can't put any There's more sharks new inside of this pond with these guys because if these guys die in here, which they look really healthy, but if they die in here, I at least want to have one to live. So we're left with literally only two options. This pond right here where they actually came out of that's filled with all of the Louisiana crawfish or why are you holding the shot? We could just walk there, come, come. This pond right here filled with even more of my beautiful Japanese koi fish. Come look, they're gonna come up and eat. These guys are uh, a little spoiled from my parents. Yeah, they don't know how to train a fish. They just throw food, throw food, throw food, and hope for the best. Now, the front pond would be a really good idea if I was a little bit more hands-on with them, but let's be real, I'm not. Come right here. There's only one real aquarium for these guys, and that would be exactly right where they came from. You know what the best part about it is? That's so cool. The best part about all of it is that's not even the only new fish that we got. There's also a couple new beautiful little catfish that we just got. That's what I got. All right guys, so this fish right here is actually really cool. This right here is a tiger shovel nose hybrid. Now, I actually had two of these and their name was Thrash and Thresher. I bought two more and guess what their names are? Thrash and Thresher. These guys are really freaking cool and they're really sweet. Tiger shovel nose hybrids are some of the coolest freshwater fish in all of freshwater, for realsies. So we're actually going to take her, put her back in her pond. I don't wanna stress the fish out. I just want you guys to get an up close, personal look at her. She's got a little personality on her. This girl is going in here to start growing. I think these guys would be a really cool addition to the pond. Go on. Bye, baby. I'll see you when I see you. See, she's just gonna go in a rock. No, go that way. Go on. And last but not least, Thrash right here is ready to rock. The bigger one is Thrash, the smaller one is Thresher. They will grow at literally the same exact growth rate. They will compete. She is freaking gorgeous. Look at her. <laughs> she is so spunky. She's ready to go into her new forever home for now until she upgrades to the predator pond. So this right here is Thresher, and the other one is Thrash, so that's Thrash, this is Thresher. They're gonna sit right on top of each other, I promise. <laughs> They're perfect. Hi, baby. Look at them. Aren't they cool, bro? So that right there was Thrash and Thresher. We also have a bunch of other koi in here, but first, I think I promised you guys feeding some koi, so let's go feed as many animals as we can and obviously put that beautiful pregnant lobster in our new tank. So let's go feed the koi. So you guys ready to learn a little bit? This right here is all of those little koi pellets that I put in the water. Watch this, see this one? It's nice and fat and fluffy and it's filled with water. We're actually gonna take all of those koi pellets right here. We're gonna mash them up like that. This is actually a part of the training process of getting all of these koi fish over here to start hand feeding right out of my hand. Now, instead of them being habituated to the sound of koi pellets hitting the water, now they're gonna use their senses, AKA their sense of smell and taste to uh, be chummed in to feeding. Now watch this, see all that? Now go whoosh. Watch all the koi come up, they're gonna love it. 
Come on, koi fish. Now, granted, I've had these fish living at my house for all of 24 hours, and uh, they're all sitting right under me right now, and they have this massive pond, and they're all eating. And none of them know me. I'm just that good at training fish. But every time I walk by the pond, I do this, and they all love coming up to eat. Hey, don't take my word for it. Listen to the happy customers. They love it. Now, I also have some other koi that are hungry. Come, let's go feed them. Go like that, same principles, and I watch this. Watch them all, love it. Yum, 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 yum. All right, guys, so that right there is me wrapping up that little feeding right there. All right, guys, so literally what all of you guys have been waiting for is the pregnant crawfish going inside of this aquarium, and she is. Come. Yeah. Look at all those baby little crawfish right there. Isn't that so cool? And now we're officially going to be putting her in her new tank. That's so sick. Hi, Bubby. Hi. That's so cool. Now, all right, guys. So we're actually going to let her establish inside of this tank. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to be decorating this entire tank for you guys, the Raw fam. So if you guys want to see that, just make sure you guys like today's video and uh, we'll make sure that we make it happen. All right, guys, so that's going to be wrapping up today's awesome, crazy adventure. Thank you guys so much for all the support on all the videos recently. We are getting back into YouTube and we are absolutely killing it. I think we got like 150 million views last month. I mean, I love you guys so much. Yet again, we are the fastest, strongest fishing family on YouTube, and that is a fact, of course. Well, fam, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys support Manscaped. They actually really do help us out a lot in creating everything that you guys see at the Raw Fam. So if you guys do go to Manscaped, use code RAW with checkout, and you guys will actually get 20% off your purchase. And guys, I think it's about time to wrap this video up. I love you all, fam. We'll see you later. Bye.